And the sun is bursting over the skyline. Actually, it's bursting out behind this building right here to the right. It's getting cold out here. The sun's going down. But welcome back to Chicago land. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. Third day in Chicago. We just got a W over at the stadium finally. The Rays won their third game against the Chicago White Sox. We won, finally. So we thought we'd celebrate and maybe go up into the wheel, the it's, Navy Pier. It's Easter. It's Happy Easter. Sunday. Yeah, happy Easter, everyone. I forgot it was Easter Sunday it because is. it's been a long day already and we're just now starting to film. It feels like Monday, yeah. It was kind of nice going to the game and not filming. Yeah, it was. We really enjoyed the game, didn't we, boys? Maybe not filming a game is the key to winning. You know who uh -oh. did you know who We might be onto something there. You know who enjoy did not enjoy the game, though, today? The White Sox the fans. The White Sox fans did not enjoy the Sorry game Sorry about today. that. <laughs> but speaking of enjoyment, I hope you enjoy this video. We're going to document our experience. We're in downtown Chicago at the Navy Pier. Hopefully, we'll be able to go up in that thing. I think we will be able to. Think there's so? line for tickets right over there. You say there's much ahead? There's much ahead. Oh yeah, join us. Shall you? That's his, yeah. <laughs> wow, that is a long way up. We checked this morning before we left the hotel to go to the game and uh, it looks like you had to make reservations, but we figured if we'd come out here, we were gambling, we figured there'd be a line and we're in it. We're gonna see if we can get in there, pay it up. And the gondolas say Navy Pier. I was thinking it was bigger than the one in Orlando, but maybe not. Maybe it's a little smaller. And it's called the Centennial Wheel. And check out the entrance fee. Not bad. 18 bucks uh, per adult. All right. We've been asked to go to Station 2, which is at the top of the steps right here. These gondolas kind of remind me of the Sky Ride a little bit. I can't remember the, the last Disney. time I went on the Bears Wheel. Been a while for myself. I think the last time it was at the Florida State Fair. Here oh, we go. Oh, we're going up. Isn't this awesome? Go. Look at and this. away. Look at that skyline. And cue the welcome music. Welcome to Navy Pier, the People's Pier. And welcome to the spectacular new Centennial Wheel, named in honor of our 2016 Centennial Celebration. Oh, Born at the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago, the Ferris Wheel is an icon of Chicago history and the centerpiece of this landmark attraction, offering incomparable views of Lake Michigan on one horizon and arguably the world's most beautiful skyline on the other. And here we are, almost to the top. Actually, we went over just a little bit. But check out this skyline. Look at the view. That is Lakeshore Drive right there, US 41. The drop tower is not operational. No drop tower? And the teacups have been removed down there. Little tourist attraction, or little rides. No teacups right now. There's, no there, there's the teacups the right there. And there's the swings and then the carousel. You do not look of at course, this. on this side. Look at this little artistic rendering of someone poking their hands out. The rest of the Navy trash. Pier. Look at this little hand And Lake right Michigan. Here. Someone's poking their hand out. And when you drop it's, something, your fingers emit this little static. It's still sparks showing. What? It. Or maybe it's shooting <laughs> using Jedi mind tricks. That's it. Pulling the can back up. Possibly. That's it. It's a pretty smooth ride. Yeah. I like it. So this is your second time on here? I've been on here when Jacob Carpetbagger and I yeah, the carpetbagger. finished our Route 66 trip a few years ago. I think I remember that. We ended with this. That's, that's a very so tight. that's an awesome way to end it. And it ends right over there. So do we get to go on this more than, like, do we get to go around? Yeah, we go around a couple of times. Times. Yeah. times. Yeah. Here you go, the gondolas as they're going up. It's like I feel like they should do it to where, like, it's just consistent. Like, you just keep going. Yeah. We're in so gondola like, 14, by the way. We almost got 13. Usually once they load everyone on, then they give you, like, a few spins around. You put, like, gloves on? Um, this AC is freaking kicking, man. Yeah, it's like, say? it's cold air coming out of there. <laughs> like, it's and here we go up to the top once again. My ears almost. As they said, cool. they said the sky view, skyline was breathtaking. I always think of Seinfeld when I hear the word breathtaking, though. It's kind of a negative word to me now because of that one episode about being <laughs> breathtaking. Breathtaking. Dude, like right It's here, magnificent. It's immaculate. Were, this is so much fun. There's like, a, there's like a bluish, there's a bluish hue what? underneath the seat. 
They've got this bluish hue. I see it. It's because the Rays won. Oh. oh. Is that why? Rays up. Rays up. Rays up, baby. It's, it's that. It's the Rays blue. They got it just lit up just a, like the chalk. Just missing you, a you didn't bring your cowbell, even though you're in the cowbell. cowbell. Max, Max was pointing out the cracks by the bolts there. I think it's okay. Somebody have to climb up here with a wrench and be like, just a little rusty. Hey Jeremy, we got a we got a loose nut up here. We got to kind of climb up the ladder and screw that back. Well, actually, they don't have to climb up. Go Who's, all the way down to the bottom. Who's Jeremy? <laughs> He's the mechanic here. Loop. Oh, one more loop, one more loop, one more loop. One more loop. Oh, oh that's oh, awkward. That got real awkward. I think, I think this is the last loop. That was awkward. I think we had one more, but they heard the chant. Yeah, they just stopped. <laughs> Here's a look at the teacup ride for the kiddos. Five bucks, but the teacups have been put out. No tea parties tonight. And so the plan is to head downtown. Do a little walking tour of downtown Chicago. It is getting colder out though, so we'll see how, how we're doing once we get down there. But I love this city, Chicagoland. Again, been here six times in a year's time. So, wow, good to be back here. Very grateful for the weekend. And watching baseball. Still more baseball ahead. Jay, yeah. Do you know, do you know what Little Bill is? The cartoon from back. Yeah, Little Bill. Little Bill. Yeah. What about him? I was just trying to tell Adam about it, but I don't think he knows who Little Bill is. Yeah, the little little clay guy with the white white head and the red the red. No, little, little Mr. No, no, Bill. Oh no, that's no, 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 Mr. No. Bill. Okay, I don't know who Little Bill is. L L little Bill. Oh yeah, yeah. Bill. And here is where we just left the front side of the Navy Pier. We were just up on that thing. That was an incredible ride. Really enjoyed that, great view. And now we're going straight forward, down into the center of Chi-Town. Or as Adam called it in his video, the bowels of Chicago. Oh wow, check this out. Oh, I'm so cold. I don't feel any heat on that, it's behind the glass. This is right before the welcoming center of the Navy Pier, the sign here. That feels so good. Actually, I don't, it doesn't feel good, I mean, it would feel good if I could feel it. It's cool though, I wanted to show it. Even though it's cold out here, we've got flowers. The daffodils are coming up, yellow. Ooh, so pretty. Wish I could pick some and mail them back to Chris the girl. Miss her so much. <laughs> and here you go, walking. Check out the ivy right here growing up the wall. And then there's a monument right here. Or a sculpture. Uh, more, more like a piece of art. You got one. Five nine W B F Z E, and we're stopping inside this place called Molly's Cupcakes for some coffee because it's cold. Hey, those are cool. They got swings. They got swings in here. <laughs> it's a swing bar. E. I don't have my coffee though. He's got his coffee. I had to wait five minutes because they ran out of coffee. Hopefully we'll get it soon though. Oh, cheers. Ghost cheers. There you go. No coffee? I like the swings though. <laughs> Worth the wait. And I've got coffee. It's about, about a six minute wait. This building right here kind of reminds me of Rockefeller Plaza in New York a little bit. 30 Rock. Just a little bit, not as tall though. Okay, so the plan is to cross this street right here and go up those steps. Gotta go up one and over. Going over here to this area where this iconic clock tower is, right over there. And we're going up these steps here. Up. Where's these stairs go? They go up. And now at the top of those steps, this, this is like where we just walked from. Down there, straight ahead, is the Navy Pier. Walked about a mile, I'd say it's about a mile down there. And now, this way. Adam's over there shooting the video. And no wonder why it reminds me of 30 Rock. The building's owned by NBC. Check it out, you can see right there, the Peacock logo. It's the 30 Rock of Chicago. And it's pretty empty down here. It's Sunday evening. Not a whole lot of folks walking around downtown Chicago. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Here's the NBC logo one more time. A lot of limestone, and just like back in Tampa, you can rent bicycles in New York City. Pretty much everywhere now. About every city that I pass through, I notice you can rent the scooters and the bikes. And now getting closer to the building. Look over here, check it out. In between these two towers here, you got like a walkway, a little breezeway. And there's the time up there, just after six, 6 p.m. of course. Look at that, just letting the camera roll, walking towards the buildings. The building right behind us, the Chicago Tribune right there, the old sign. Doesn't look very big right here, but over here it, it opens up, gets a bit taller. There's a blue light like shining up it. And the flag, old glory, there at the top, waving. And they do have walking architecture tours, and also they have ferry boat architecture tours. This looks like the meetup spot. I noticed that the walking tour we checked before we came down here, before we went to the game, but they start at 1 p.m. Uh, every day, so. We didn't make that, but we're kind of doing our own unofficial architecture tour, even though I don't know much about these buildings. But it's a video, I'm just showing you what we see. Feel free to comment below if you see anything that interests you or, or you can point out to the audience in the comment section. Oh, and right here to my left, before the river, there's an Apple store. Looks so like you just walk down the steps into the store right there. Do not throw a stone. That's a lot of glass. And the first look at the river. Check out all the ferry boats. To the left and to the right. Ferry boats remind me of a scene from The Dark Knight, which was filmed here in Chicago. Actually, I think that building right there was in the movie. Is it the Wayne Enterprises building? It sure looks like it. Either that or where the Joker hijacked the party. Maybe, I don't know. One day, I'd like to check out those filming locations. That would be cool. And then I could confirm that for you. But right over here, the bridge, Max and Adam ahead. Look at the uh, sculpt, the sculpture on the side of the bridge here, the main pillar. There's also one over there. And then we're right here below the tower. Here comes a loud car. Oh no, I think it's down there on the lower, on the lower side, the lower road. And I believe this bridge is named after John Baptiste Pointe du Sable, or du Sable, founder of Chicago, 1745, 1818. John Baptiste Pointe Usable found in Chicago. There you go. A little history lesson for you as we're now entering the bridge. Check out the flags up here. Got the American flag and the Ukraine flag flying all the way down both sides. There goes a riverboat right there. I once heard that they change the flow, the direction of the river. I believe it used to go the opposite way. I believe it used to go inland and they, they reversed it out to Lake Michigan. That's what I heard. Could be the opposite direction. Maybe I got it backwards, but yeah, they, they once reversed the flow of this river. All right, making my way over here. Hey boys, sorry. I was vlagging, vlogging. And Standing about mid-bridge, ambulance going over it right there. Looking back at the Chicago Tribune. And over here. I love this building. I love the clock. It's the clock tower. Save the clock tower. It's getting cold out here. And way down there, you can make out the John Hancock building at the far end of Michigan Avenue. No on the north side. There's the bridge we came over. And now we got the right of way. And I was just telling them, I was once out on this median, shooting back over the bridge, shooting a 
my camera back over the bridge because right here is where they had the funeral parade from Backdraft. All the firefighters were marching through here at the end of the movie down Michigan. Now standing directly below the London house, check it out. Look at these giant pillars here. This is a beautiful building. Look, I'm just gonna go down here. There's the old Fort Dearborn right there, etched in bronze, right above the door. Check that out. And here you go, here's the main entrance. You can see the gold ceilings in there. There you go, people are trying to get in there, but the doors are locked. There you go. Check out the hallway. Pretty cool. And then right behind me, the skylight again in the bridge. Just kind of letting the camera roll. Look at that. All these buildings go right along the river. Goes right through all these buildings. This building over here kind of looks like the Wayne Enterprises building as well. Maybe you're in the center. I don't know. I'm sure someone knows. I'll figure that out later. I'm gonna actually do some Batman locations. I love Batman. I gotta do those sometime. Now at the Chicago Riverwalk, open 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Also, video surveillance in use. I feel like we're being watched. Don't jump! Oh, never mind. I guess the uh, river walk is temporarily closed. There's people walking down there, though. There's people down there? Oh, down yeah. There. Down there? Yeah. Huh. Well, so they're getting down there somehow. They're getting down there somehow. I don't see them right now. I believe you, though. They're down there. One of the street lamps is out. They gotta replace that. And this monument commemorates Robert Morris, George Washington, and Haim Solomon. And that's a big statue. Those are some big statues there. Hold on, let me step back so you can see it. Put it into perspective. And there you go. Cowbell Max is kind of helping things too. They're like, George Washington is tall. Oh. We can't hear you. It's the car's fault. I created this country. You created the country. Oh, George Washington. I get it. Oh. Oh, Cowbell Max. For president. Well, hello there. There's a goose right there. Hey. Hey, Mr. Goose. What you doing? Looks like you came up. You came up a little too soon. It's still cold out here. They turn on the fountain behind you, though. That's a good sign. All right, I'll leave you be. There's also another fountain right over here. All they need to do now is turn on the fountain at the Buckingham Plaza, or the Buckingham Fountain, as I showed in yesterday's video. So we did another Chicago walking tour. All right, I'm gonna step right up here on this bench here. Whoa, check it out. This is the State Street Bridge in front of this iconic building with the parking garage. Look at this. That is wild. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that architecture. Someone needs to come around and replace all these lights. You got one, two, three, four right here on this pillar. Someone's got to replace them. Billy Goat Tavern's not far. Billy Goat Tavern? That sounds familiar. I think that's where the curse started, right? The cure? The curse. The curse. For the Red Sox. What am I thinking Red Sox? Right in Boston. The Chicago curse. The Chicago yeah, curse. I know what you meant though. Uh, the Red Sox may have been here at one time or another, but I think that's a different curse. That's a different curse. What's behind me? I think it's the architecture boat ferry tour. That must have been the last one. I think the last one was at 545, so that would make sense. All right, it's official. We're heading to the Goat Tavern. We're hungry. Burger time. I feel like a burger. At the corner of Wabash and Benton, here comes the train. Look at that.
So we're heading to the Goat Tavern. It's actually below us. Below us. So we gotta go down one level. Somewhere down on the lower sh yeah, Chicago level. Billy Goat Tavern and Grill. Doesn't look to be open. The open sign's not on. Oh no. And you know what? I should have known where this was because I once parked in that parking garage. Right there. When I came to do the backdraft locations. And we're giving up on the Goat Tavern. They're not open. It says they're open, but they're not open. It is Easter Sunday though. Let us in! We won today. Let us in. For some reason, I remember the Billy Goat Tavern being in a different spot. Maybe there's two of them? There might have been a couple, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They did say it was What's downstairs the though. This Billy Goat Tavern? What's, is it underneath us? Look at the walkway up there. This is so we Wacker Place, 300 Wacker Place. Looks like a lot of construction. This is Lower Gotham from the Dark Knight. That's what it reminds me of. All right, taking a corner here. I mean, this looks more like a where. Yeah, this looks like where it would be. We're in the middle of the road. The road closed <laughs> that way. This is cool looking though. Garland Court, 70 East. Just walk from that way. Yeah, I don't think it's down here. Oh well. We'll find something else to eat. That looks like a tour bus. Yeah. Wonder if that's Metallica. Nah, I doubt it. Okay, so I think we found it. Adam pinpointed it. It's I think across I the bridge. Out where it is. You think you got it? Okay. I don't know for certain. But I think I know where it is. I trust you. I'm hungry too. We shall find out. We shall. Join. Shall you? Shall you join us? And back on Michigan. Gonna head over the bridge. And the Billy Goat Tavern should be somewhere below us. Somewhere up there. Check out Old Glory flying right here. Check out Old Glory flying right here below the tower. Standing right in the center of the bridge. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all the buildings down there. And that way towards Lake Michigan. All right, gotta catch up with my boys. It's burger time. We're gonna find this goat place. It's like we're cursed or something. The Plaza of the Americas. This is neat. Oh, look at the uh, light down there twitching. That's kind of eerie, isn't it? The light twitching down there. Get a little closer here. There's a statue at the end of the plaza. Who is that a sculpture of? I can't make it out. It's too far. It's really creepy. Look at that. Bonito Juarez? Bonito Juarez, the first indigenous indigenous president in Mexico. Thanks, Max. Yes, sir. Always got your back for a quick fact. All right. <laughs> Max facts. <laughs> now we just need some cowbell. Go Rays! Okay, so we have to go down. Also, the sign says to Navy Pier, so it's kind of on our way. The Goat Tavern's kind of on our way back to the pier where we parked. Hello! To Navy Pier. Walk east four blocks or take the seasonal Navy Pier trolley. Oh, there's also a trolley. But down here somewhere is the restaurant. This is cool, we're going back to Lower Gotham. There we are, is it down here? It's gotta be down here. Hello? Oh, okay, this is where all the trash dumpsters are. Below the buildings, I feel like I've been down here before. In a car, not on foot though. All right, so if you come to Hubbard Street, 430 Hubbard Street, Hubbard, right here on the bottom, Billy Goat's Tavern and Grill. And it looks like, oh no, oh no, they're not going in. They're not going in, it's cursed. They have Billy Goat's out here, this is cool. The original. Billy Goat's Tavern, established 1934, and it's closed. 
Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. That's where the SNL skit started too, where the curse started. Wow, this is awesome. They turned it off though. Looks like they have a reverse the curse party, October 6, 2016. Hey, that's an old sign featuring Murphy the goat. We, well, they've won the uh, they've, won, they've won the World Series since then, though. The curse has been broken. There's a billy goat on the door there. Look at this. But in any time, but that's not true. Denied. I guess we can't butt in. It kind of reminds me of the Saturday Night Live skit. I can see, I can see Belushi back there. Saturday Night Live. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. No Pepsi. Coke. 1934, Billy Goat Tavern. This is where the curse started. Since been broken, but this is where it all went down. Billy Goat Tavern. I have to come back sometime and get a cheeseburger. I hope we're not cursed. I don't think we will be. They're closed. If they I were think, open, we might I think if we stay here if they any were, longer, if it said open and they were we somehow closed, longer, so then we would really be happen. cursed. So we might want to get out of here soon. Get the heck out of here. Let's go! The curse of the goaty goaty goat goats, as Chris would say. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's scram! And we didn't know, but there's an actual sign right here. That's where we came from. Right down there to the right, the Billy Goat Tavern. The infamous tavern. Right off of Michigan. There's the bridge back there. Walking on the back side of the Chicago Tribune, along the wall here are rocks and bricks from different parts of the world. This one here from Ancient Gate, Suwon, Korea. And right below it, this rock here from Georgia, Andersonville Prison, famous, uh, infamous prison during the Civil War. And I'll show you a couple more. You can go all the way down the building. Here's a brick from Maryland, from Fort McHenry. That's where Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner. And here, Fort Brady Salt, uh, St. Marie, Michigan. Fort Brady, I think I butchered that last one. Okay, one more. This one's from Montana, from the Custard Battlefield. There's a brick. Okay, one more. Aachen City Hall, Germany. That rock is from Germany. All the way along the wall, the backside of the Chicago Tribune. Might show more of that next time I'm in Chicago. Okay, one more, one more. And Zio Beach, Italy, a rock from the beach. And petrified redwood right there from California. Wow! It's been a great trip out here. Hanging back a little bit. They got ahead of me. I stopped to check out all that stuff on the side of the Chicago Tribune. Well, oh yeah, there you go. Again, the NBC building right there. And the skyline behind me. I love Chicago land. And it's a nice night for a walk. Nice night for a walk, eh? All right, going down the staircase we did earlier. Straight shot. Back to the Navy Pier, to Lake Michigan. Directly under Lakeshore Drive. There you go. Not too far from the Navy Pier. Don't know what we're gonna do for food. We might get into the car and go somewhere else. We'll see. Don't know if I'll even vlog the food. But yeah, just nice evening out here, walking around downtown Chicago. Been here all weekend for baseball. Three games, the White Sox. And now, the Tampa Bay Rays are going uptown to Wrigleyville tomorrow. No spoilers. No spoilers. Wrigley Field, at the top of my baseball bucket list. My grandfather and my great-grandfather went to a game at Wrigley Field back in 1952. And I'm going to be thinking of that, maybe, sometime in the near future. So if you hung around this long, maybe you got a hint. Maybe not.
no spoilers. It's cold in Chi-Town, woo! See my breath. And now back at the Navy Pier. In the Chicago Children's Museum. Yeah, that's out here too. And we popped inside here at the Navy Pier. It's like an indoor mall. Check it out, Margaritaville. Just like back at City Walk. And a Potbelly sandwich shop, which is not open. So we can't eat anything here, obviously, because it's closed. We'll have to go somewhere else. Over here's the parking garage. We parked our car. Very pricey, by the way. I think we're gonna pay about $30, $35 for parking for that short stay. Well, actually it's been about four or five hours. I think it was $16 for the first hour you pay right here. Actually, here you go. Here's the self parking at the Navy Pier. One to 1.5 hours, 26. I think we're from two to six hours. So yeah, we're gonna pay 37 bucks for parking. And when we got here, there were cars everywhere. It's cleared out. It is 8.39 in the evening. 8.39. Now at the corner of Harrison and Wabash, we found food right over here, 601 Wabash. The sign says open. And I think we just decided to get something on the way back to the room because it's getting late. And every time we go into a restaurant, things are closed. It is Easter Sunday. And I'm not that hungry. I ate a lot at the game today. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hey, give it a thumbs up. I am Tampa J. There's much ahead. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.